I'm looking up at the stereo um because I don't want to be surprised by this one song <laughs> it's that bad it's that bad um like I said before it's one of the main scenes it's in the the music to the reveal when he comes to the club and just shows her who he is and that's what I was talking about at the end of the um last um video and I, and I wanted to get into that a little bit because I always pick a um video to put on Facebook because um my son's gonna see it you know his fans are going to see it and I try to pick um something that's a little more educational and not uh gossipy <laughs> you know for the one that I put on Facebook I mean it's a free country you anybody goes to YouTube can see it I mean it's nothing I can do about that if I put it up there but um the one I put on Facebook is usually something tame and I'm actually being educational um what I was saying at the end of the last video was about um um the characters being the world war ii thing the characters being in love and i said i'm not sure if he is actually in love i'm not really sure um i think when he met her i mean just to do a little in-depth character i don't know what you're gonna call it class of 2115 well not quite yet but um well, basically, his his personality is something like um, he's just had it his way always, you know. But he did show what happens is um, when um, Madame, that's the woman, that's the um, the owner of the club, also the head, kind of head of the little resistance pocket there in 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 Paris there and what she finds out about him is and I still haven't figured that out yet how to how to how to work that out yet but what madame finds out is that he actually you know um applied to school in another name use his grandmother's maiden name or something like that and just let his his grades or the, the test scores you tested back then to go to another you know school and he didn't want who his family was because he came from a, you know, a strong military family on his mother's side, which is pretty interesting. Um, because his father is a photographer or some kind of artist that really doesn't go in for this party stuff. They don't want to get in. This is nothing they want to get involved with. But I thought that um, he could, and that could be the conflict between him and his father, but he could be very close to his mother and his mother could be the one that's the, um, and he has a lot of sisters and his mother could be the military background that he comes from. He didn't want anybody to know who he was. So um, he, you know, applied to school in a, in a fake name. You know, he had his own real, you know, grades or, transcripts we call them now but um you know but just with the name changed you know so he could get in and he got into um um some school he wanted to get into like a work study kind of kid he had a job in at the school you know and um i don't know kind of made good grades and you know i i don't i i, I don't see that i don't want to um, delve too much into what he was like when he was younger because I don't want to like him to a certain point you know I don't I don't want to make that mistake um, because that will um, I don't know that will influence how he's written and he has to be like he is um, I don't I don't have any impressions of when he um, well yeah he decided on a military you know career basically drive his dad crazy <laughs> but you know also to please his mother and please that side of the family and he just he had a he had a close sort of relationship to that um i guess he could relate more to that side of the family than he did like the artsy side of the family but i do um have him listening to but then i have him being um non um conventional in the way that um 
the music he listens to, he listens to jazz, and that was like outlawed, and heaven only knows what would happen to you. But he has a lot of, when they go to the beach house, um, he has a lot of jazz and blues and music like that, you know, and, and she makes some comment about it. Well, uh, you know, won't you get in trouble for listening to that? You know, and he kind of says, look, you know, we, we're not all just, you know, he says something, you know, but, you know, it's, it's along the lines of, look, we're not all, you know, puppets um, on the string. We, um, you know, we do, some of us do think for ourselves. And I think he's, that that's the kind of person he is. And um, because he basically put himself through school and it was like, I, I don't know if I wrote it in my head or if I wrote it down, that it said only until graduation day that they really find out who he was because the whole front row was full of, you know, generals and, you know, colonels and they were all his uncles and, you know, cousins and, you know, all this stuff. And that's really when they found out who, you know, he, he really was. Um, how he ends up, I think he's just in favor. I think he'd be the kind of, um, officer that would be in favor, um, with, um, the corridors of power in Berlin at this time that he'd, he'd be the, I mean, cause of course, you know, I had to make him totally Aryan. He had to be totally Aryan and that kind of. Um, he's really like um, kind of taken from this actual real person, but I, you know, I don't want to, I have in my mind what he looks like, but I don't want to confuse the two, you know, um, he's okay. He's okay. That's how he gets the so-called quote unquote promotion, how he gets the position, this, this secret, top secret, you know, position is that he's actually in favor and he look, has the looks and, you know, he's what, you know, they were, you know, shoving up into everybody's face. What's, you know, perfect. And, um, so he's, and I imagine, um, well, not imagine, you know, with, with having so many um, uncles and, you know, cousins and brothers-in-law and, and, and stuff high ranking in the, within the party and within, um, you know, the actual military ranks that he would have had it kind of easy, easy. But um, I do have him um, as a pilot, because when he goes to fly her to, um, the Mediterranean, when they, when they go to the first time they're alone in the beach house and he says something, she says, uh, 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 yeah, I'm not getting anything. And he says something like, oh, don't worry. I was shut down over North Africa. And I think, um, I got that from somewhere. I don't know where I got it from, but, um, that he was shot down over North Africa. And that's why he doesn't do that kind of thing anymore. You know, he doesn't, he's not combat ace or whatever they called them back then that he, he wasn't that anymore, but he had done that just to, you know, show how, but, um, also too, I think I went, um, more into his character than I did hers, even though I'm really in depth into hers, but she has a different, um, whole different other perspective. He like to sum up his personality, you know, he, um, I, I think I told you guys about the part where he's, he's in his car after he's gone to meet her and, and she's, you know, boohooed and crying. And why didn't you tell me and all this stuff, get out of here. I don't ever see you more. She ran, you know, he's all mad. He's in his car. And that's when he stops at the art, um, um, uh, studio and wants to buy the picture. And then the, the guy won't, you know, sell him the picture and he's oh, oh okay. You know, so he's so frustrated. He's in his car and he, he's thinking about, you know, the stuff that's going on. And he says, um, something like, um, she's the only woman he's ever, uh, she's the only woman he's ever wanted that wasn't on her back in 24 hours. Basically, that's the quote, I think is something like that. He said, and, um, 
because that's the night of the show. He goes, he, he actually, he, she tells him not to come back. Madame kind of talks him into coming back. And then he, you know, goes back to, you know, to talk to her. And that's when he asks, he tells her, look, we got to get away. We got to, you know, you know, scratch this itch, if nothing else, <laughs> you know, you know, we got to, we, we got to get together. And, um, I think, I think her personality they're kind of, you know, she's really well, well, okay, okay, okay. What I wanted to do. I'll go back to that other thing since I remember what it was. I don't remember what it was. But what I was trying to do was to show the um the contrast, I mean, which is no secret, but was to show the contrast between the couple that was in the camp and the couple that, you know, you know, she's got everything she wants. She's got jewels. She's got, well, not the, the most important things she wants. She doesn't have, but I mean, as far as material things and plenty of food, and you know a nice bed and she's safe and she has all this jewelry and clothing and fur and you know stuff like that and that here's this other poor woman you know everything she own, owns is on her back or in a bowl you know and um that was something else interesting that i that i found out in my research that the um camp um um people would sell spoons spoons a spoon was like a commodity you know they traded spoons like the guys do in prison i guess cigarettes <laughs> whatever you know but um to show the difference between what's going on in even though it, it's a struggle as to what's going on in 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 paris because she is in a lot of danger she is in a lot of danger not the kind of danger that the woman at the um that's in the camp is in but i didn't i but i don't want to i don't i don't want to overdo it i don't want to over so that's one another one of th those things where i said um show not tell because okay remember when i was talking about when they they get to the um they get to the um beach house on on the riviera and it's just one of those you know, flat kind of beach houses with the um, awning that kind of comes up. You, you know, you do like that, you screw it up and it goes up that kind of, and it's kind of got like a nautical kind of, um, you know, anchors and stuff like that, you know, around it. So it's kind of a little beach house, you know, like a little cabana house, you know, that I can imagine he, that's where he hung out when he was a teenager to get away from all those girls, all those sisters and stuff yet when his family um, visited. Um, um, at the chateau. So I, you know, I really can, I really can see, well, they, it's one, okay. I'll tell you the best scene, the best scene when that's going on. Um, it starts to kind of rain. Oh, I know where I was going with that. Oh my gosh. Now I cannot be that tired. Come on. It's only seven 30. Come on, and I have not done that much. Um, the scene when they get um, to the beach house and he, you know, he tells her, well, you know, go, you know, go and freshen up and come out back and, you know, it's still time for us to go take a walk on the beach or something like that, he says. And she goes to the, um, you know, she goes in, kind of freshens up and stuff. And when she comes out of the, um, her bedroom because he gave her her own bedroom she comes out the bedroom that's when she hears the blues music playing on the back porch and she's like oh my goodness and i can't remember i said something like when she walked out onto the because remember she he had that uniform on and when she saw him in just the you know the swimming trunks and the little shirt you know and stuff she was like okay well that's him you know and I started all that to say all this, that there's, a, um, 
what the Parisian is going through is just as deadly. You know, it, it could, could possibly be deadly. This is a dangerous man. And, and like I said before, I said something about her being naive and, and him being naive too. But I think she, um, but then, but then again, she really, she really couldn't. I mean, she couldn't, what could she, okay. She told him to go, she told him to go away. He didn't go. Okay. Of course she has feelings for him, but on the practical side, you know, what else could have happened? I mean, she couldn't really, you know, but that's where the um, moral question will come in, will be if, um, how much we know she knows about him. Not what we think she knows about him, but what does she really know and this doesn't matter, you know? I mean, and that's where I think the um, criticism, conflict, whatever is going to come, is you know, the, you know, these terrible things. Oh, I know, I know where I was going with that. Um, at the end of the second draft, just to tie, it, I'm going to tie it in. At the end of the second draft, she doesn't find out about the atrocities and the stuff that, you know, went on until newsreels afterwards, after the war is over. And then they show in the newsreels of, you know, when they liberated stuff. And this is when she finds out actually what, um, you know, what she, who she was involved with, what this man she was involved with was involved with, but he wasn't directly involved with any of it. On the other hand, I have to um, walk a straight, uh, 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 like a tightrope as to what she knows, what, what through other characters um, that um, the writer, me, let you know how much she knows and what, okay, number one, what the truth is about him. Who knows the truth about him and how much does a female character know about him? Okay, that's, that's how to break it down. How what does she know you know does she know everything does she know you know because the other two you know in the other two versions yeah she don't know you know she doesn't know but um and he hasn't really done anything you know um the first draft he's a lawyer or something that just gets thrown <laughs> you know next thing he knows he's in north africa you know the second one gets stationed in paris because you know of nepotism you know and he gets stationed there and this guy is in the east um and i and i don't know i don't know um i don't know i don't know what to what to put on her but it see but you can't when you when you start when you first start the process you you go crazy like this you'll start one thought and you'll leave another thought and you'll go insane but it, it sooner or later it goes together and that's the process. You know, you have to sit down and think about, um, okay. Oh, but yeah, but then, and, and, and yeah, but, oh, and you know, and sooner, and the, and you think when you first start getting ready to write something, you think I will never write this. I will, it will, I will never have anything that's, you know, coherent. I mean, this, this is, this is terrible. This is bad. This is, I'm not going to be able to make any sense out of this. This is just stupid. But, you know, that's what I thought about Autumn and look what happened. I mean, it's, it's brilliant, if I must say so myself. So the same thing with this, but the good thing is I'm getting, I'm recording the whole entire process, you know, and um, from the beginning. So, all right, I'm going to let this one go and then I'm going to come back and, oh, and, and talk about, um, some foundational changing that I'm doing even now at the, because I learned something. I learned a few things when I was in autumn, so I'll come back.